Starting Monday, you'll be able to buy hearing aids over the counter at your local pharmacy. It is part of a new law that passed by Congress to help millions of people with hearing loss. But buyer beware. XAN Morning Anchor Sally Hernandez talked to an ear specialist about what you need to know before buying your hearing aid. Tell me how this is going to really help a lot of people out there with this new announcement from the FDA. Again, two things. One is it's going to be readily available, so geography is not an issue. The cost should come way down. The average cost of a hearing aid uh, fitted through a doctor or audiology office is over $2,300. Yeah. That's for one. These should be now in the several hundred dollars a pair up to maybe $1,000 a pair. So before when this was even talked about, you said hearing aids were not covered by insurance. What was somebody supposed to do if they needed one and they didn't have enough money? So 80% of people that would benefit from hearing aids go without hearing aids. And that's a statistic that remains today. Uh, cost is a large part of that. So what should I look for if I need a hearing aid and I find one at the, uh, the store now? Right. So with the new regulation, uh, you could go to retail outlets, pharmacies, maybe even electronic stores and, and get a uh, over-the-counter hearing aid. Uh, I am a physician. I still recommend somebody like a doctor look in your ear and make sure there's no other conditions. Hearing tests are almost always covered either by insurance or you can get a lot of free hearing tests in part as part of a screening process. And then the other thing is, is the over-the-counter process is going to be uh, user-driven, meaning there's no professional to hold your hand and help guide you. So if you're a senior and you're not particularly tech savvy, you got to be careful. Uh, it's not going to be readily apparent what the differences between the devices are because there's going to be half a dozen uh, varieties or more in the store. Uh, one thing the FDA did not mandate is a return policy. So I do urge everybody uh, that's going to buy a hearing aid, make sure you read the fine print. Thank you so much, doctor. Appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Bye-bye.